Hey guys, now we will going to create tab 3. Let's start. Here I also added boilerplate and tab array. Now for tab 3, we will create tab something like this. Let's copy tab 1 code in tab 3. Change its name to tab 3. In tab array, I added two more keys and values color and alpha color. Let's see what we will do with this. So, for creating that tab, cut icon from here and remove this animatable dot view. Add parent view and inside this, add animatable dot view. Add styles, style sheet dot fill absolute object and background color we get it from item.color now here add view wrap save it and go to tab 3 now create view and then paste icon component here change icon name yeah it show background color or the icon component Add text component and in that add item.label to get label text. Let's create view style and button style. Flex direction will be row to make view horizontal and add align item to center to make all items centered in the view. Add padding to add. and water radius will be 16 let's save it this is absolute view background so radius not changed now let's change animation remove rotate from here just scale it from 0 to 1 when focused and from 1 to 0 when not focused now add border radius to animatable view. Add text style. Color is white. Padding horizontal will be 8 which is padding of left and right. Now give background color to icon when focus is true we don't show any background color and when focus is false we show item.alpha color alright now wrap this text view around animatable view and add text view wrap and add some animation for it scale up when focused and scale down when icon not focused Now show text only when icon is focused. So I add focused and operator text component. Yeah, looks good. Now change icon color. When focused, it will be white, and when not, it will be blue, which is primary color. Now do one more thing. When icon focused, we change its flex. So when focus is true, flex of button view will be 1 and when focus is false, then flex will be 0.7.
Now remove flex from container style. Now save it. Yeah, great. It works pretty good. All right. Hey, we can do one more thing. We can add little bit bounce in this. So go to the animate tool and copy the circle animation object and paste in view animation. Now change some values. Yeah, works. So this is our animatable bottom tab navigator. Please let me know if you have another idea to make this bottom tab animation in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new from this tutorial. So see ya until the next video and never forget to like and subscribe the channel.